I'm Nikki Bonifani, and you're watching Storytellers at Competition Plus TV. Yeah, in memory of my dad, Nitro Nick Bonifani. He, uh, my dad was a he was a pretty colorful guy in the sport. Uh, my dad, you know, back when, to give you a background on him, you know, when he was a lot, a lot younger, uh, back in the early 70s, you know, his, one of his best friends was Jungle Jim, and, and uh, Jungle Jim was crazy anyway, so, uh, you know, my dad, my dad hung out with Jungle Jim, and he, you know, he had a driver back then that drove for him, the guy's name was Pat, Pat the Mouse Walsh, he, he was definitely a hippie from the 70s, uh, had long hair, big old handlebar mustache, smoked a lot of pot, and uh, back then, you know, those guys, you know, it was everything they could do to just get up and down the road because, um, you know, all they did was drive up and down the road and go to match races. So it, it wasn't unusual for them to run, you know, a, a Wednesday night, a Friday night, a Saturday night, a Sunday afternoon race, and then come back home and service the car. And, you know, I guess I was maybe, I don't know, 12, 13 at the time or whatever. I don't, I don't remember, but... You know, my mom would let me go to the races uh, on, on, you know, in the summer. And if I didn't, if I had off on a Monday or whatever from school, maybe dad would let me take off Friday. So I, at this one, on this one trip, I believe we were driving down 95, like uh, probably going to like uh, Greer, South Carolina or something like that. You know, I mean, we ran, we ran everywhere, eighth mile. And uh I was up in the sleeper, you know, just taking a nap, and, and uh, which was pretty much all I did back then. And uh, and uh, there wasn't, for whatever reason, we did, we only had one crew guy with us that weekend. It was uh, our buddy Tony Del Sorda, and he's he's gone now. But uh, but we, um, you know, we had to stop to take a leak, and uh, Dad and Mouse got out. They and Tony, they all went in. They thought I was asleep. Well, I woke up and and. Uh, went in there and I I took a I took a pee and uh, next thing I know uh, I hear Tony in there and he's he's going what the hell my my ass is sticking to this seat what what's going on and and I hear people laughing and stuff and like I don't I don't know who did it it, it could have been mouse or my dad it could have been one of the people in the in one of the other stalls so we didn't think anything of it we all go running back get in the truck i go back in to sleep and dad and mouse are driving down the road and uh you know we get to the hotel or whatever for the night and uh you know we go in and i hop in bed you know probably had just left all my clothes on everything got in bed and uh Back then, you know, everybody just kind of slept on the floor. Or everybody in the same bed. So my dad hops in bed. He gets ready to go to sleep with me. Mouse is in the other bed. Tony goes in the bathroom, and he's going to take another crap. So he's in there, and he's in there forever. He, We don't know what the hell's going on. So dad goes over. He knocks on the door. He says, Tony, you okay in there? Tony goes, no, I'm not okay. I got scabs all over my ass. I don't know what happened. I, My whole ass is, a, you know, it's a scab, you know, so... Um, he's in there and he's really worried, you know. He so dad says, "Well, come on out here. Just come on out here and let let me take a look at your ass, right?" So uh, Tony comes walking out and he's got his his underpants on, you know, and and uh, he drops his, you know. Dad says, "Hey, drop your underpants." So he drops his underpants and uh, all we could see was what looked like. Uh, you know, the shape of a toilet seat, a big giant scab. And uh, so my dad reaches up and he starts pulling the scab, which Tony thought was a scab. It was really bottle glue or something. Elmer's, I don't know, but it was pretty nasty. And uh, I'm watching this and I'm going, oh man, you know, and dad's pulling the glue off well Tony's an Italian guy and he's got the hairiest ass you'd ever see and uh, so dad's ripping this hair off you know and he's 
he's pulling it. Every time he's pulling it, Tony's whining. You know, so they, they wind up pulling all his glue off his ass, you know. And uh, So the next day, we go to the track. And, uh, of course, you know, Dad and Mouse, they got to go tell everybody the story about Tony's ass. And uh, so he, he actually earned the name Blue Ass. And, uh, you know, he was, he was famous for that name.